Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys the best city tweaks for the second week of March 2017. Now the series is back, I have missed it for like two weeks I think. I haven't uploaded a best city tweaks of the week video but this series is back and now you can expect me to upload this video every week showing you the best city tweaks that have been released during that week. So let's get started with the first tweak, Acapella 3, which has been released this week and it will bring gestures to the music controls on your iOS 10 device. So you can use it on the control center on the music app as well as on the lock screen of your device. So let's go to the control center here. So from the control center, I can tap here on the right side to turn up the volume or here on the left side to turn down the volume. If I want to go to the next song, all I have to do is just swipe like this or I can tap here to play and pause the music. So if you jump to the settings of this tweak, what you have here are all these sections that you can customize. So you have the control center, the lock screen, and also the music app, the now playing and the mini player on the music app. So if you go to one of them, you can enable it. And then you have the gestures here and you can go here to the gestures and you can change the action that you can perform using the, the gesture. So you have the same settings for all the four sections. Temporal, this tweak allows you to have more time zones here at the clock on your lock screen as well as at the widgets right here. So all you have to do is just add the time zones on the stock clock app of iOS 10 and then all you have to do here at the clock is just swipe and it will show you the different time zones. So you can see here, you can just swipe and go through all the times that you have set on the stock clock of iOS 10. 3D Color Changer 10. This is a pretty dope tweak which will change the colors of the 3D touch menus based on the color of the app's icons. You can see here a blue 3D touch menu based on the blue color of the weather app and if I go to the 3D touch menu of another app you can see it will have the same color as the color of the icon of that app. Let's jump to the settings of this tweak. So what we have here is an enable button for the tweak to enable or disable it and then here you can enable the border you can auto detect the app's color and then you can set here the background color also you can change the colors for the label separators and also also the border color and you can also set here the border width and also the app colors alpha with the slider right there Paysetia 2 this tweak allows you to view and manage the clipboard of your iOS 10 device. So when you're on when you're on the keyboard, all you have to do is just tap here to change the keyboard and go to Pesidia and here you will have the clipboard history. So the things that you have copied on your clipboard. So you can go ahead and paste any of them simply by tapping on them or you can also remove them like this and you can also favorite them. So you favorite them right here and you can remove them by deleting them right there. So let's go to the settings of this tweak real quick here. We have an enable button. You can disable it on any of your apps. Just pick here any app that, where you want to disable this tweak. And then you have here the maximum pasteboard history. So you can choose how much you want to save. And then you can choose here with which keyboard you want to replace it with. So you can see here you have two different keyboards. You can replace Pasadena with any of these keyboards. Pulse Hood. This is a very cool tweak which will replace the stock volume hood of your iOS 10 device with this nice pulsing animation. So you can see here when you turn up the volume all the way up, it will be green. But if you turn it down, you can see it will turn into red. So it's pretty cool. It has this nice animation and here under settings, you can enable it and you can choose here a pulse color. So you can go here and pick any color that you want or you can set here red to green, which means that it will apply that effect that you saw right there. So when the volume is down, it will turn red. When the volume is up, it will turn green. So that is it for this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it, for more videos make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and also go ahead and leave a like on this video as it helps out a lot and don't forget to follow me on my social media, you will find all the links in the description of the video.